Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I rise today in support of the amendment from the gentlelady from Florida. I believe that an independent review of the SBIR and STTR programs by a trusted arm of Congress, the GAO, will prove beneficial when we reauthorize this program in a few years. In conducting this study, I expect that the GAO will take its normal unbiased view without any preconceived notions on the value of the programs or the changes that we have made uh, in H.R. 2965. Uh, Mr. Chairman, with that, I yield back uh, to the uh, gentlelady. I appreciate it. Gentlewoman from New York. Mr. Chairman, if the gentle lady is prepared uh, to yield back, we are prepared to accept the amendment. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate the gentle lady from New York's uh, working with me on this amendment as a former New Yorker and uh, as somebody who wants to make sure this bill works. I really appreciate it. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. Mr. Chairman, I urge adoption of this amendment and yield back the balance of my Questions time. Questions on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Florida. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes have it, and the amendment is adopted. It's now in order to consider amendment number three, printed in House Report 111-192. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Florida rise? Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number three, printed in House Report number 111-192, offered by Ms. Cosmas of Florida. Pursuant to House Resolution 610, Pursuant the gentlewoman... Pursuant to the rule I send to the desk a modification. Pursuant to House Resolution 610, the gentlewoman from Florida, Mrs. Cosmas, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Florida. Thank you. Pursuant to rule, the rule, I send to the desk a modification of amendment number three. The clerk will report the modification. Modification to amendment number three, printed in House Report number 111-192, offered by Ms. Cosmas of Florida. The third amendatory instruction is amended by striking line 24 and inserting line 23. The fourth amendatory instruction is amended by striking page 15, line 1, and inserting page 14, line 25. The amendment is modified, and the gentlewoman is recognized. Thank I ask unanimous consent to suspend the reading. Without gentlewoman is recognized. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. I rise in support of my amendment, H.R. 22... Uh, 2965, the Enhancing Small Business Research and Innovation Act of 2009. I would like to ch thank the chairwoman for her support of this important amendment, which will assist small businesses in my district and across the nation that support NASA's space shuttle program. With suppliers in nearly every state, the retirement of the space shuttle program will have a significant economic impact. In my district alone, over 300 businesses work with NASA, and these small businesses had over $200 million in contracts last year. This amendment will provide that these businesses have the opportunity to commercialize and that they get assistance in doing so, so that they can continue to thrive and contribute to our economy following the expiration of the shuttle program. The contributions the shuttle program has made to our economy and to the improvement of our everyday lives are countless, and we must continue to utilize the knowledge, innovation, and unique workforce that has supported NASA throughout the years. Helping small businesses by increasing their potential produce, to produce products for the marketplace will ensure that this exceptional workforce and this small business sector will not be dispersed and lost, but will be able to continue developing vital technologies and growing our economy. NASA's Innovative Partnerships programs has a strong history of engaging small businesses in developing technology for NASA needs and transferring that technology to the public benefit. In 2008, NASA's SBIR awards sent to 205 firms spanning 31 states. NASA also identified 1,110 newly developed technologies last year that could lead to patenting and to transfer. Technologies developed by and for NASA lead to new products deployed to the fields of health and medicine, transportation, public safety, agriculture, industrial productivity, and of course computer technology. Helping small businesses affected by the retirement of the shuttle program transition to work in related or unrelated industries will encourage cutting-edge research and development and preserve the unique workforce which has made us a world leader in innovation. I reserve the balance of my time. 
The gentlewoman reserves the balance of her time. Does no, it seek recognition Mr. and opposition Chairman. to the bill? For what well, purpose does the gentlewoman from New York rise? While not opposed to the amendment, I ask unanimous consent to claim the time in opposition. Without objection, the gentlewoman from New York is recognized for five minutes. Space exploration has long been a symbol of American innovation. Today, we are in the process of unwinding one of our most high-profile efforts in that arena. In the next year, NASA's space shuttle project will retire for good. As the program comes to an end, so will an estimated 8,000 contracting jobs. But while the project is shutting down, its contractors and the innovation behind it shouldn't have to. In the past, these firms contributed a great deal to NASA Space Shuttle Program. I believe they can do the same for other federal agencies and for other space initiatives, such as the Mars Lander Project. That is why Ms. Cosmas' amendment is so important. By retooling their operations and seeking new markets, space shuttle contractors can continue to offer high-wage jobs to countless Americans, all while maintaining their commitment to science and technology. This amendment offers transitional assistance to display firms, helping them identify and buy for other R&D projects. In doing so, it will ensure that even with the loss of the program, we don't lose our most innovative businesses. I urge the adoption of this change and yield to the gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Graves, for any comments he wishes to make. Gentleman from Missouri. <clears throat> uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. And I rise today in support of the amendment from the gentlelady from Florida. Uh, the space program has and continues to create new and exciting technologies, often by small businesses. The amendment will ensure that the creative ideas associated with the development of the space shuttle will not be lost, will be transferred to other new technologies. Uh, I thank you for the amendment, and I yield back. Uh, Mr. So Chairman, if the gentlelady is prepared to yield back, uh, we are prepared to accept the amendment. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I uh, urge adoption, and I yield back the balance of my time. Mr. Chairman, I urge adoption of the amendment, and I yield back the balance of my Questions time. Questions on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Florida as modified. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. Opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and the amendment is adopted. For the yeas and nays. The, does the gentlewoman ask for a recorded vote? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Pursuant to Clause 6, Rule 18, further proceedings on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Florida will be postponed.